What's up everybody, this is Ginger Sim, and today we have another gameplay video from Production Line uh, Game in Alpha right now from Cliff Harris and Positech Games. So, if you watched our last video, we were in the process of setting up our main production line, but a new alpha version was, was released, so we're up to alpha 1.14 right now. However, with that, our save game file no longer works. So, we are going to start a new game. And here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, there's car designs now. Interesting. That's new. Not quite sure how that works yet. Market value, so I think that's our selling price and how much the car is worth. Interesting. Alright, research looks the same, I think. Yes, it does. Alright, so let's get started. What we're going to do is get a temporary production line set up here so that we can start making some money while we research, design, and build our permanent production line. So we'll just get these placed here and let's get started. We'll need a chassis assembly. We'll need a fit body. We'll need paint. We'll need an engine assembly. We'll need accessories. Electronics, quality check, and export. Now, I've played this game quite a bit since it was first released, and I love it because you can play it differently every single time you play. Having said that, what I usually do is form a kind of U shape here starting in this corner and come back in this direction and export here with my temporary production line. I'm not going to do that this time because I want to be able to expand this temporary production line in this direction as more modules are needed. When you do it in the U-shape, sometimes it gets a little tricky to be able to fit a third fit body in this area when you already have a station set up here. So we're going to do it slightly differently this time, and I think this will work much better. I'm hoping it'll work much better. But we shall see. So we get all of our stations connected to the conveyor here. We've got our, or to the resource conveyor. We've got the actual conveyor set up between all the stations. And we are ready to make a car. Alright, first car is moving down to the fit body station. Alright, 
so we already have a backup here at Fit Body. So we'll go ahead and place a second one. Perfect. And that's the wrong button. We need a resource conveyor. Now, I'm not understanding why resources for this side of the production line Hey, new achievements. Very nice. I'm not quite sure why resources for this end of the production line are coming from the other importer. So what we're going to do for now is remove Alright. We'll sell that at 60% premium for now. Call that the Model 1. Perfect. We're going to remove this center section here, and hopefully that'll keep this side with this, it will force this importer to deliver to these stations and that one to deliver to those, which is what we want. Get some paint set up here. Perfect. All right. So, what we'll do next here is start research. Get a few research offices placed here. And let's go power production. I always start with power production. I found that it's easier to eliminate that cost at the beginning than it is anything else. And I'm not seeing power. There it is. All right. <clears throat> and our vehicles are still selling more quickly than we are able to produce them so we're going to bump the price up here to 65% and let's take a look at the market value All right, power's been researched. So let's get started on the chassis. I'm just taking a look through here. It looks like there's a few new items that have been added. So you've got an aerial, an alarm, a chip, 
a heater, leather, sat nav, servo, sensor, spoiler. Spoiler, I think, was in the last update. Very cool. All right, so that's 134,000. So we're not quite profitable enough to put in a second engine assembly here just yet. We're getting there though. So like I said, I've been playing this game for several months now, and one thing that I've realized, and it becomes obvious to you as you play more, the, the key to this game is balancing time of production. So right now, you'll see we have a backup between our chassis assembly and our fit body station. If we take a look, a chassis is assembled in 12 minutes and 52 seconds, right under 13 minutes. A body takes 31 minutes and 40 seconds. So that means we have two, two and a half chassis produced in the time it takes one body. Now we have two body stations, so if we divide that this time by two, we end up with roughly 15 minutes and 50 seconds. Now, what that means is it takes longer to produce to fit a body to a chassis than it does to produce a chassis, which means we're going to end up with a backlog here. Same thing goes for paint. Um, that's closer to the body right now, but it's still a little longer. So even at optimal speed without this hold up here we'd still be producing more bodies than we'd be able to paint now here to fit the engine takes 27 minutes and 36 seconds we only have one of those so that's the actual time where paint we have two paint stations so it takes 17 minutes and 12 seconds to go through paint Sorry, not to go through paint. It means every 17 minutes and 12 seconds, we have a car coming from paint to the fit engine. And so basically, we just need enough of each station so that the times are extremely close to each other so we don't end up with these backlogs. That's how you get to maximum profitability and efficiency. And part of the fun of this game and the challenge is figuring out how to get there. Okay, so I think we'll go for another body station here.
I don't think we have quite enough money to support it yet, though. Research power and never purchased power. That is my fault. Alright, so we are looking pretty good here. We've got power production going. We've got research going. I think it's time for another body station. And to do that, we just need to wait until we reach the required amount of money here, which should be fairly soon now that we've eliminated the expense for power. Just in profit right now, we are making over $10,000 per vehicle. <coughs> So I'm extremely pleased about that here. Get our body station put down. And we'll just wait to get that connected. Now, I don't know about all of you, but I find it kind of mesmerizing to watch this game. I don't know why, but something about watching the raw, <coughs> the raw materials come in and watch the car go through the production line, I don't know. But there's, there's something about watching it that I like. Now, fit accessories takes 1436. We have cars coming out of fit engine at 13 and change 1348. So that's a little bit long here. 
So we'll get another paint station placed. We do need some power though. We'll get another paint station placed. Let's get some robots this time, because why not? Alright, so, let's do accessories. We'll clear up this while we can. And there it is, so let's get started on our engine specialization. And we'll get another fit engine placed here in just a couple minutes because we don't quite have the cash just yet. So there's our next fit engine. And we need another chassis assembly because we are not producing enough for our body assemblies. So if we turn it in this direction, We'll actually be able to fit at least one more over there. So that's pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll actually turn this conveyor so that this one will go here and here and this one will go here will go here and here and that should work pretty well Okay, this one didn't quite work. And 
I'm not quite sure why. Need a little bit of power. Okay, so let's redesign this here because it's not quite working. So if that one goes there, this one comes down and meets with this one, then we can do it. That should work. Okay, all fixed. Much better. And we unlocked robots, but we did not do anything with them. But it doesn't look like we have any backups right now. Let's get some robots down on the body stations. So our assembly line is doing pretty well here. We're utilizing almost all of our stations consistently as far as fit body paint and engine assembly are concerned. So I think that's a good place to end for today. If you liked the video, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This has been a Let's Play video of Production Line Alpha 1.14, and I am Ginger Sim. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.